Yeah, this is expected to be one of the most exciting years for the Oscars, where we have some blockbuster films running in very competitive field for Best Picture. And that's just part of the story. Listen, I'm way behind. I'm listening to everything he says. But in the meantime, <laughs> ABC's Tim Pulliam live for us in Hollywood this morning. Tim. Oh, Michelle, you got to watch some of the movies. They are so good this year. So many of them. Well, Oscar preparations are wrapping up. You can see that the plastic is off of the red carpet. However, it is still covering Oscar. A crew member tells me that that is not going to be removed until the very last minute. Take a look at some of this year's nominees. From the real story behind the first atomic bomb to the 1920s, true crime murders of wealthy Native Americans. We're still warriors. The competition for Best Picture at this year's Academy Awards is one of the toughest ever. There are a lot of good movies this year of the 10 nominated in Best Picture. I don't see a weak link among any of them. Three films have the most nominations this year. Killers of the Flower Moon with 10, Poor Things receiving 11 nods, and Oppenheimer topping the list at 13. One of the most competitive acting races is for supporting actress. You have to answer for men's bad behavior, which is insane. Barbie's America Ferreira. You know good and well who heats up your bone. The Color Purple's Danielle Brooks. Well, if you feel that way, then do something about it. Jodie Foster in Nyad, Emily Blunt for Oppenheimer, and Davine Joy Randolph in The Holdovers. This really affirmed for me this is, this is part of my gift. Rustin's Coleman Domingo, Oppenheimer's Killian Murphy, and American Fiction's Jeffrey Wright are new to the lead actor category. Jeffrey Wright is stepping into a category that often isn't kind to comedies at first. And then in addition, is fighting among Killian Murphy from Oppenheimer and Paul Giamatti from The Holdovers. Each nominee for Best Original Song will be performed on stage at the Oscars. Here's what Barbie's supporting actor nominee Ryan Gosling told ABC's Deborah Roberts about performing the song in the film. It was scary, but it felt like I totally understood why Greta felt it was, it was necessary. Jimmy Kimmel is back for the fourth time as host. I've seen all the movies, seen all the short movies, I've seen the short documentaries, the long documentaries. There's a lot of very long movies. They were worth it. Yeah, they were worth it. And there will be several special appearances from celebrities throughout the Oscars. We're talking Al Pacino, Regina King, Issa Rae, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Sally Field. They have been added as names to the presenters list. Guys, back to you. Oh, it's quite the list, quite the list. Tim, we got to get you on stage. That's, that's, <laughs> got to get you up there presenting. I'm, I'm ready. He looks the part. Hey, look at him. He's he ready. He looks the part. <laughs> He's ready. Thank you so oh, much. Now, coming up in your next half hour, we have our own Sandy Kenyon. He's going to be sitting down with Jimmy Kimmel, and it's a very revealing interview.